The offset dumbbell squat is a good way to introduce some asymmetry into symmetrical movements to maybe make your body like them a little better. So it's a normal squat pattern. We're gonna start with the weights elevated on a bench or chairs like this. You're gonna take a nice RDL drive through the legs to pick them up. And then as far as execution is concerned, if I do a normal squat, uh, with dumbbells, I want to be a little bit more narrow because uh, I don't want them running into my legs like this. Uh, if I do a normal squat, my feet are pretty symmetrical, pretty parallel. What I'm going to do in an offset squat is I'm going to bring one foot back on purpose. And as I bring it back, I'm going to let my hip kind of follow and my toe kind of turn outward a little bit. I'm not going to bias my toe inward too much. So now I've got my left foot back, my right leg forward, and I'm going to let my hips turn to the left as I squat down. Now I'm not so concerned about shoulder stuff. I just want to have a nice firm grip on the weights and I want to drive through the legs. Okay. Big things with especially dumbbell squats, it's easy to just turn it into a deadlift where you're bending over. You want to maximize the knee bend with the feet flat on the floor. So if the heels come up, that's the biggest mistake that I see. Heels will come up, weight will shift forward and the knees will collapse in and the back will arch. You don't want those things. My glasses are falling. You <laughs> want to stay back on the heels and try to stay as upright as you can. So this is a little too far for me, but what I'm looking for, if we look from the side view, is I'm looking for my shins and my uh, torso angle to be parallel. Something like that. If you're doing the dumbbell version and the weights are hitting your legs, just try to be more narrow. As you move your feet closer together, you're gonna to limit your range of motion. So don't force depth on these squats, but that is the offset dumbbell squat.